All right, so how's it going, everybody? We got ourselves back two envelopes today. Hopefully, you have been getting back whatever you've been sending out. Let me know if you've been getting anything back yourself. I always enjoy finding out what everyone's been sending out and if you've been getting anything back. Past few days, we've been receiving some envelopes back, so that's always good. Hopefully, it's a bunch of spring training stuff. I'm still sending out stuff to minor league. Send out one hockey to the Panthers. So hopefully, we'll get that back as an 8x10. That'll be pretty cool. I, I did send some, I think I showed in a video, I got like a team set kind of thing for uh, Florida Panthers. I went through the players that are on the roster still of those cards. And I sent to the Florida Panthers. I feel like I did at least seven or eight players. Might have been ten or something like that. I don't know. We sent several out to the Panthers, so we're waiting for them, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we've got a few of them before. That's pretty cool. But yeah, as always, I hope you've been doing well. And let's see what we got today. All right, we got ourselves two envelopes back, and they are both from Phoenix, Arizona. March 8th postmarked and March 22nd. So could this be spring training? That would be cool. And I want to say... Well, at least one's B. Like, you could see here I wrote a B. That I, I kind of recent. I There was like a week where I was writing letters and I was doing that because I, I wanted to do... Well, now I don't even remember because I wasn't really doing it that much. Cause I, I can't remember if I was doing B for baseball and BB for basketball. And then like F for... Like, it was basically the first letter of each sport kind of thing. I kind of wanted to do that just so, I, like, if I got one back, I would know what it would be. But, well, that didn't last that long because I can't remember. Is this baseball for the B? I feel like I did. Uh, yes, because this is a Bowman LL, LAA. Do we have Angels player? Ooh. Yes, we do. Landon. Landon. Was that out of focus the whole time? I'm sorry. But, yes, we got... Thank you, Landon. This came out pretty nice. This is, once again, kind of a difficult card. He would literally have to probably, like, sign down here on the grass. But that's a, the background of the card. Kind of ruins, like, an autograph chance. So, not the best card to send, but it is a first Bowman. Is this 2020 or 21? 21. So, maybe he'll get a different Bowman this year. But... I really appreciate it, Landon. This came out nice, though. I like it. It shows up better in person, once again. The autographs almost always look better in person than they do on camera. But I appreciate him taking the time. This is cool. This, this might be one of our... I'd have to look through. This might be one of our first 21 Bowman draft card sign. But yeah, thank you, Landon. I'm assuming that was a spring training return. Then also from Phoenix. Postmarked the 22nd. But I, I don't know if this gets us out of my March built-up envelopes or not i think we have one more then we jump into april which is april now there's several things in here uh, my notes still in there uh my cards behind the note there i think Ooh, i think we got yeah we got two cards i feel them it's out of focus that's upside down that's Kyle Freeland. Okay, cool. Awesome. I was like, wait, what's... <laughs> I can see the C-O-I. I'm assuming that's Kyle. And then I wasn't sure on the F. But yo, that came out cool. Kyle Freeland. That's 19 Bowman. Pretty sure, right? And... Nice. That came out awesome. That um, 19 Heritage? Yeah, cool. Kyle Freeland. I think I've seen... Well, first of all, thank you, Kyle Freeland. These came out very nice. See, it's so weird. Like, it's a blue background, but even with the blue Sharpie, it still showed up nice. Although, Heritage almost always has very good cards. Heritage, Gypsy Queen, and Alan and Ginter are probably, I'd say, the best cards to get signed. But even, like, Top Series 1, 2, and Update, they... A lot of the time they do have pretty good pictures, but I feel like Heritage and Gypsy Queen, Gypsy Queen with like their design they always do, kind of, it's like faded out, like it always shows up ink very well, unless the background's like not a good background, but then a lot of the time Alan Ginter show up, auto, show autographs up very nicely, but, and uh, 
Heritage, I think the pictures are probably among the best. Because, like I always say, when you're sending out cards, think, uh, like, I mean, well, yeah, I, I said thank you, Kyle. Uh, like in the case of Landon, that's literally his, his, I don't know if this is his only card, but it's his first Bowman, so it should be his first card. So, I mean, you can't really do much about that. I mean, it's not, he tried. He tried. It still shows up nice. Don't get me, I'm not like, don't take me as this being negative or anything like that. I'm just trying to think about the best way for when I'm sending out cards to get autographs. Uh, I know it's out of my hands once I send the cards, but other than baby powder on them, to hopefully the ink stays, you know, kind of thing. My advice is you kind of got to take that into mind when you're sending out cards. If the background picture, I know basketball is really a lot of the card because it's like the stands and basketball, the seats and stuff behind. I think that's kind of like the camera angle they take. I feel like football also. I feel like football, basketball, and hockey, a lot of the times the pictures are taken for the cards that uh, the backgrounds make them hard to show autographs. But with baseball, kind of, I feel like the baseball backgrounds, just because the field kind of thing, I don't know. I guess, I, Am I thinking way too deep into it? I don't think I am. Just basically, like here, like this one, it's like a black background. So that's not like any color. Like literally, if you had a silver or gold Sharpie, it was the only way. But then, like, here on the Kyle Freeland, it's, like, a blue background, but it's kind of blurred out. But even there, the blue still shows. And then, like, on this card, pretty nice. White jersey. Though the Rockies with the black stripes, I could see how that could kind of mess with it, but it didn't at all. But yeah, these all came out very nice. Don't get me wrong. Don't take me as complaining or anything like that. But that's awesome. Thank you, Landon. Thank you, Kyle Freeland. Because, like... I feel bad not even saying Landon's last name, but I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, let's see when we sent these cards out. I'm assuming it was the start of spring training kind of thing, so. Okay, so I was hoping by the time I recorded all this and went to go look, my internet would be back up, but no, apparently. I don't know if it's because it's been like, it's been like pretty windy here in Florida the past week or so at least. And my internet's out. <laughs> I did the Comcast thing and they said several hours. So I'm not sure when that's gonna come up. So we can't actually look up when we sent these out or where to, but there's a 99% chance, trust me, that we sent this spring training. And today is April 21st. So whenever, like what, a month or two, that's pretty typical. So yeah, I guess if uh, Landon's in the minor leagues, he signs cards, try and send him a card to whatever minor league team he's on now. And then I'm pretty sure Kyle Freeland, I I think we've even got him before. I think he's a pretty solid signer, I guess it would be, which is really cool because these came out very nice. So, so yeah, these are some pretty cool returns. Glad to add them to the collection. And if I remember, I'm going to open up some pickups, I guess, or something like that. I remember to edit that in, but if I don't, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you've been getting back.